Suzanne Plachette brought life to the screen with her acting skills. Her journey in film and television showed her dedication to her craft. She is remembered for her role as Emily Hartley on the television series The Bob Newhart Show, where her performance left a lasting impression. Her work extended to the stage and big screen, where she continued to shine. Her talent made her a beloved figure in entertainment, and her legacy continues to inspire. Suzanne Plachette was an American actress known for her deep voice and straightforward acting style. She starred in many films and TV shows, but you might remember her best as Emily Hartley from the television series The Bob Newhart Show. Her performances were genuine, and she brought a special touch to every role she played. Now, think back to when you first saw Suzanne Plachette. Was it on the big screen or your television at home? And has there been a scene or a moment in her performances that left a mark on you? Something that you still think about today? We also want to know about your most treasured memory of Suzanne Plachette. Maybe you met her, or perhaps her work influenced you in some way. Your stories and memories are important to us, so please share them in the comments. Stay tuned because we have many interesting facts about Suzanne Plachette coming up, including some that are funny, some that are surprising, and even some that are a bit sad. Keep watching to learn more about this memorable star. Suzanne Clichette grew up in a family deeply involved in the performing arts. Her mother, Geraldine Kaplan, was a dancer, and her father, Eugene Clichette, was a stage manager, theater owner, and network executive. Raised in New York City, she attended the High School of Performing Arts and later studied at Syracuse University. She was influenced by her grandmother, who encouraged her to pursue acting. Early on, she took lessons from renowned acting coach Sanford Meissner, who played a significant role in shaping her acting skills. Her early stage experiences and the artistic environment at home were crucial in developing her passion for acting. Suzanne Plachette was known for her deep voice and straightforward acting style. She starred in many films and television shows. Her most notable film role was in Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds where she played a schoolteacher. This film is a classic and a must-watch for fans. Another significant movie is Rome Adventure, a romantic film that showcases her acting range. For those new to her work, start with these films to see her talent. She also played Emily Hartley on the television show The Bob Newhart Show, which was popular and ran for several seasons. Watching this show gives a good sense of her screen presence and comedic timing. These projects stand out in her career and are recommended for anyone interested in her work. Susan Plachette was drawn to acting from a young age. Her defining moment came during a school play where she felt the thrill of performance and the joy of audience applause. This experience sparked her interest in acting as a career. She enjoyed pretending to be different characters and bringing stories to life on stage. Her passion grew as she participated in more plays and honed her skills. The positive feedback she received from these performances confirmed her desire to become an actress. This early exposure to the world of acting set her on the path to a successful career in film and television. Suzanne Plachette showed her acting skills in the movie Nevada Smith, playing the role of Pillar. Despite her top billing, she only makes her first appearance well into the movie. Her personal life also had interesting turns. She worked with Tom Poston in a Broadway play, and they hit it off. It took them over four decades to tie the knot. In her career, she made bold choices like saying no to popular television shows not once, but twice declining roles in both The Dick Van Dyke Show and its later version. These decisions shaped her path in the entertainment industry. Suzanne Plachette faced tough times when she started her acting career. She had little money, and people in the movie business did not believe she could succeed. But she did not give up. She worked hard and found smart ways to show her talent. She took different acting roles and proved she could be a great actress. Her hard work paid off and she became well known for her acting skills. She showed that with determination and creativity, you can achieve your dreams even when it is hard. Suzanne Plachette brought life to the character Joanne Baker in the movie Blackbeard's Ghost, where she joined Peter Ustinoff and Dean Jones in singing Heart of Oak, a song known as the official march of the Royal Navy. After her passing, she found her final resting place at Hillside Memorial Park in Los Angeles, surrounded by her family and between her two husbands, Tom Gallagher and Tom Poston. She also made television history as the first woman to host The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson without being a singer or comedian, showcasing her unique talent and presence on one of America's most beloved late night shows. 
Suzanne Plachette's career had several significant moments. Her role in Alfred Hitchcock's film The Birds was a major turning point. This movie showed her talent to a wide audience and earned her praise. Her work on the television series The Bob Newhart Show as Emily Hartley is another highlight. This role made her a household name and showed her ability to connect with viewers. Her peers, critics, and those she worked with saw her as a skilled actress who could play different roles well. They said her performances were strong and left a lasting impression on the entertainment industry. Her ability to bring characters to life and her presence on screen were praised. These achievements show her skill and the lasting effect of her work. Suzanne Plachette showed her range as an actress in the film Support Your Local Gunfighter, playing the character Patience. Her collaboration with James Garner on this project led to their later appearance together on the television show Eight Simple Rules. Their partnership on the show continued after the passing of John Ritter, with Garner joining the cast until the show ended in 2005. Besides acting, Plachette had a creative side, designing linens for J.P. Stevens & Co. over a decade from 1969 to 1980. She also made a memorable appearance as Annie Hayworth in the classic film The Birds alongside Tippi Hedren. Both actresses were smokers during the filming, with Hedren quitting five years later and Plachette much later in life. Plachette's life was cut short at the age of 70, while Hedren has lived beyond 90. Suzanne Plachette was known for her deep, sultry voice and straightforward acting style. But she often played strong, assertive women and brought warmth and realism to her roles. Her approach to acting was grounded in honesty, preferring to bring her own emotions and experiences to her characters. She believed in being true to the script and delivering performances that felt real and relatable. Her personal experiences, especially her early stage work and her love for travel and learning influenced her portrayal of characters, making them more authentic and believable. She had a natural ability to connect with her audience, making her performances memorable. Plachette's work continues to be admired for its clarity and genuine quality. Suzanne Plachette brought a unique touch to her roles, often bringing life to characters with her distinctive voice and presence. In Nevada Smith, she played pillar opposite Steve McQueen, where despite their close friendship, their on-screen romance felt awkward due to their brother-sister-like bond off-screen. Her portrayal of Annie Hayworth and the Birds showcased her ability to embody characters with depth even when the age description didn't match reality, as she was younger than her character. Over the years, her voice deepened, a change evident from her time on the Bob Newhart show to her later work, which was attributed to her vocal usage and smoking. Plachette's career reflects the evolution of an actress who adapted to various roles while leaving a lasting impression through her performances. Susan Plachette was known for her deep voice and strong screen presence, which brought a unique quality to her roles. She had a significant role in shaping the portrayal of strong female characters on television, especially with her part as Emily Hartley on The Bob Newhart Show. Her work influenced other actors to pursue roles that broke away from traditional expectations. Experts note her ability to give depth to every character, making them feel real and relatable. Those she worked with recall her professionalism and dedication to her craft, inspiring many to follow her example in their own careers. Her performances remain a study point for actors learning the art of subtlety and naturalism in acting. Suzanne Plachette shared a personal journey with Anne Bancroft, as both actresses hoped to become mothers. While Bancroft welcomed a son, Plachette faced the heartache of infertility. Before her film career, Plachette's acting roots were in theater. She stepped into the film world with ease, and though initially set to star in sex, in The Single Girl, the role ultimately passed to Natalie Wood. This wasn't the first time Plachette filled in for Wood. She had done so previously in Rome Adventure. Plachette's path in acting showed her adaptability and resilience, navigating the unpredictable nature of roles and personal challenges with grace. Suzanne Plachette was known for her love of animals, particularly dogs. She supported animal shelters and was involved in animal rescue. Her home life was filled with the joy that pets bring. She also enjoyed gardening, finding peace and contentment in nurturing plants and flowers. Her connection to nature and animals often reflected in the warmth and depth she brought to her roles. Plachette was private about her personal life, but it was clear that her off-screen interests and values deeply influenced her acting, bringing authenticity to her performances. She believed in giving back and supported various charities, especially those focused on health and well-being. 
Her generosity extended to helping young actors find their footing in the industry, offering guidance and support. Suzanne Plachette made a bold choice early in her career by taking television roles despite being on the rise in movies. This decision led her to focus solely on television by the 1980s. She shared a deep connection with her husband, Tom Poston, as they both passed away from respiratory failure. In the classic film, The Birds, Plachette played Annie Hayworth, and the movie cleverly used colors to symbolize themes of love and connection. The colors pale green and reddish orange were used throughout the film to represent the lovebirds, which was a significant detail that even inspired Baudet, an American actor and writer, to pay homage to Hitchcock in his script in 2023. Plichette's role and the artistic choices in the birds left a lasting impression on audiences and fellow artists alike. Suzanne Plichette was known for her strong presence and deep, sultry voice. She brought life to many characters with sincerity and a touch of humor. Her work on stage, film, and television showed her ability to adapt to various roles. For those starting in acting, she advised learning from every experience and always being true to the character. She believed in hard work and persistence. As for her future, she hoped to continue acting and maybe direct, sharing her knowledge with the next generation. Her guidance to newcomers was to stay patient, keep improving their craft, and never lose passion for acting. Suzanne Plachette brought life to Emily Hartley on The Bob Newhart Show, landing the role after a chance encounter on The Tonight Show where her natural chemistry with Bob Newhart was undeniable. Her talent also led her to audition for significant roles in The Thomas Crown Affair and The Detective showcasing her range as an actress. In a heartfelt moment, she honored her friend David Jansen with a eulogy, sharing memories and respect for the late actor. Plachette's career was marked by these memorable moments, reflecting her skill and warmth both on and off the screen. Suzanne Plachette brought warmth and authenticity to every role she played. Her dedication to acting showed in her ability to bring characters to life, making audiences feel like they knew them personally. She was a pioneer who helped shape television and film with her unique presence. Her work continues to inspire actors and entertain fans, proving that with talent and determination, one can leave a lasting memory in the hearts of viewers. Her story is a testament to the power of creativity and the importance of never giving up on one's dreams. Suzanne Plachette made her film debut as Sergeant Pearson in The Jaysha Boy, marking the start of her acting career. She became well known for her role as Emily Hartley on The Bob Newhart Show, where she, Bob Newhart, and Peter Boners were the mainstays appearing in every episode of the series. Her early life was shaped by her parents, Geraldine, a dancer and artist, and Jean Plachette, who managed the Paramount Theater in Brooklyn. Growing up as an only child, she stepped into the world of acting where she left a lasting mark with her performances. Suzanne Plachette and Tom Poston shared a special connection through their work with Bob Newhart. They got engaged in December 2000, linking their lives and careers. Suzanne was known for her role in the Bob Newhart show from the 1970s, while Tom appeared in Newhart in the 1980s. Their paths crossed professionally when Tom played Cliff Murdoch on Suzanne's show, and she made a memorable appearance on his. After her passing, Suzanne was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on her 71st birthday, January 31, 28. Friends and fellow actors celebrated her life and achievements at the ceremony. Suzanne's personal life also saw dramatic moments like during the filming of The Fugitive in 1963. She developed strong feelings for David Jansen, the lead actor, who was experiencing troubles in his marriage. Their brief relationship lasted three months, ending when David hesitated to divorce his wife. Suzanne Plachette might have been known as Jennifer Hart to television viewers if things had gone differently. She was in the running for this role on Heart to Heart, but it ultimately went to Stephanie Powers. In her acting career, she took on various characters, including Sergeant Pearson and the Jaysha Boy. This role connected her to Jerry Lewis, who had a surprising link to her family. Before her audition, Jerry worked for her father, Jean Plachette, at the Paramount Theater. When she tried out for the part, Jerry couldn't believe it and called her father. Adding to her family connections in the industry, she was related to John Plachette sharing more than just a last name, but also a bond in their acting careers. Suzanne Plachette showed her talent and flexibility as an actress in The Birds, where she played Annie Hayworth. Although she initially aimed for the lead role of Melanie, she accepted the role of Annie to have the chance to work with the famous director Alfred Hitchcock. 
Hitchcock saw potential in her and tailored the character to be younger and more significant, adding a rich backstory. He was so impressed with her performance that he offered her a part in his next movie, Marnie, as Sean Connery's sister-in-law. However, Plachette, who saw herself as a lead actress, humorously declined, pointing out that the character was not the central figure of the film. Her early life was marked by friendships with Faye Michael Newell and Carla Champion, which lasted throughout her career. Later in her career, Plachette reunited with Veronica Cartwright, her co-star from The Birds, on the television show Will and Grace, where they played the mothers of the main characters Karen and Jack. This appearance was a nod to their shared history and showcased Plachette's enduring presence in the entertainment industry. Suzanne Plachette brought warmth and a strong presence to every role she played. Her performances won the hearts of many and left a lasting impression. We invite you to share your favorite memories of her work in the comments. If you enjoyed this tribute and want to see more content that honors the talented individuals in entertainment, please like, share, and subscribe. Your support helps us continue to celebrate these artists and their valuable work. Thank you for watching and being part of our community.